Hey, I figured it's easier to call. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be doing some filming and work for like the next hour and a half. Okay, yeah, I don't think it'll be that early. All right, so you want to like say like five? Yeah, at least around that time. Okay, I'll call you in like a, at like 4, 4.30 to check, check in. Perfect. All right, bye. But in the meantime, their their representative won't slow us down on the project. Yeah, she's actually she actually has questions about the booth deck. Yeah. 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 Just give me the address. What's the address? Yeah, I, I'm looking for it right now. Uh... Go introduce you to a few people. Meet me at Wonderland. Meet me out front of Wonderland. So drink back there? What about a mango smoothie? Hey, you want my milk? Mango smoothie. So I want to take you down to Bruce Monroe Park. There's an organization called Georgia Avenue Thrive. And it's a community organization. It's volunteer, um, but they try to get the community involved. They try to give back. So they're holding an event over here at Bruce Monroe. So I want to go check out and catch up with some of my friends and see what's going on. Oh, what's up, man? How are you? Good. You've never tried one of these? Have you tried one of these? Heat the spot. Oh. Mango smoothie, it's the best. How are things going on uh, the Kenyan listing? Um, I just dropped the price and I've been slammed. Good. Well, I sent someone your um, first street listing today. The lower unit? Are the upper ones for sale too? The upper ones contract already. Yeah. But low to see you, man. How's it going? It's going well. You're hustling, man. I got your like little fold out. That was super sweet. That? Yeah. This is Jennifer. Hi. On one of my previous vlogs, I was talking about Georgia Avenue Thrive. When we talk about passion for Georgia Avenue, it's like Jennifer and bodies. Avenue. Georgia Avenue is for lovers. But I was explaining how Georgia Avenue Thrive was just this group of incredibly passionate neighbors with no agenda. We do have an agenda. We, um, we know that this neighborhood's going through a lot of changes and that there's a lot of newcomers as well as people who have lived here for generations. And sometimes that's not easy transitions to come together. So Georgia Avenue Thrive's kind of opportunity, these kind of events that we're here today, to just have a chance for people to get to know each other and once know each other, love each other, take care of each other, support each other. So a lot of it, what we do, and, and that's how Jason's like a perfect example of that. Um, and he, this guy, carried pumpkins around for our fall fest when the hurricane was blowing plates of food off the table and he's always been there for us when our community did a coupon book um, he made sure that we were able to go to press with that and this event too it, he's one of the people that made it possible for us to be able to do this so it's really us coming together very happy to have this man as part of our neighborhood yeah yes well i appreciate everything you guys do so we're, we're here today with Donnie. Donnie, uh, I first met in 2008 and always told me, hey, when I'm ready, I, I want you to help me kind of get started with real estate. So um, today is kind of day one, right? Like the, he took the steps the last couple of weeks to get pre-qualified and talk to a lender and uh, he's been working a bunch of years now, saving a ton of money. And so now he's ready to, now he's, no, in all seriousness, Donnie's kind of, he's now ready to start looking for a property. Kind of being new to this process, like what are your thoughts right now at the beginning of the process? Right now I'm just uh, kind of concerned about the prices. Yeah. What, what, am, what am I gonna be able to afford? Right. In, in what location? And if I'm familiar with that area. Right. Right now, like most of the things that I've seen, uh, are in areas of the city that I've never frequented. So there's just a little bit of curiosity right now. Yeah. Of figuring out how those areas look and how how, uh, how well of a fit is, is gonna be living there with 
my daily commute and just thinking about those things. But I don't, I'm just very excited to start right. the process. Well, I wish I could have sold you this house, um, but somebody snatched this up before. Because uh, this is a great house. Look at that. You have the yard here. So you want to make me feel bad. <laughs> you had to show it to me. <laughs> uh, it, has the, this was, okay. it has the front and rear entrance on the bottom level. So you have that potential to have that uh, rental unit. But I think I have my eyes on a few things. So I think that I can find you something just as good. Cool. Well, this is day one. Uh, we'll check in in a, in a few weeks and see where we're at. And across the street was, was a little... Um, shop and now it's like $15 sandwiches and like uh, designer drinks. You can't just well, go. Wonderland existed when, I, when right. we were here. Right. Wow. That's what I was saying. Wonderland and now we have um, the uh, the coop. Have you ever eaten at the no. coop? No, no, it's been a while since I've been here. Yeah. I want to check out that pizza place that they, they, I've heard about. Oh yeah, uh, Red Red, Red Rock. Rock. Yeah. Let's go down here to Blue Bar and then we can. Uh, go to uh, check out a couple properties. That's three, like three or four units. They took a single family. And you, if you saw the, the vlog number one or two, I explained how you take a house and turn it into two. Yeah, I yeah, know, I've seen a lot of those. Like, Over there, you can see how they've gone up. They've given a slight architectural design there. So it doesn't look too bad. So here's another example of a pop-up. Um, the guy got away with out keeping the mansard. He went straight up. When it first, when he first did it, I, I just couldn't even stand to look at it. Now it's actually grown on me, and it I, doesn't bother me. It, you know, kind of blends in a little bit. But you can see the big difference between this and the other one down the street, which we shot earlier. Has it keeps in line with the mansard. At any rate, the guy made good money on this. He bought it for. I think just over 500, probably put in, he was telling me he put in like 350, maybe a little bit more. And he sold the top unit for 850 and the bottom one for high sevens. So if you do the math on that, um, he made some good money off of this one. Plus it's an end, end unit, so it has windows on the end. The views are incredible. You have uh, monument views, capital views, incredible. But Back to the mansard and the pop-up, you can see. What, do you, what is your opinion on this? What do you think? You like it? Thank you.